Hello friends, in my previous video I have discussed about this particular difference equation and it's one of the very important property. The sequence, uh, the difference equation is y of n is equal to x of n plus alpha into y of n minus d. Where if we take alpha equal to 1 and d equal to the length of x of n, then we are getting the periodic repetition of x of n in the output sequence y of n. Okay, so like for example, here I have discussed x of n as 100 delta n. So only one uh, is our major part in x of n. So if we keep delay as 1, that is this equation y of n is equal to y of n minus 1 plus x of n. We have taken alpha equal to 1 also. Then we were getting periodic repetition. That is one impulse train we are getting in the output sequence. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Okay. Similarly, if we uh, take the second example we have uh, taken in my previous video, that is x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3. Suppose this is our original sequence which is having then 3. Then if we take the delay as 3 and alpha is 1, then the difference equation will be y of n is equal to y of n minus 3 plus x of n. Alright. And we have seen that we, will, we, 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 we have seen that we got the periodic repetition in the output sequence y of n. x of n, if it is 0, 1, 2, output will be 0, 1, 2, uh, in the output 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, periodic repetition will be there. How many periods we will get? That can be determined by how many zeros we are padding after our input sequence. Like here, if you consider x of n as 1, 2, 3, then after that, if we pad 3 zeros, our output sequence will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. If we pad Six zeros output sequence will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on, right? So like here, for our input sequence 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, we are getting output 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, all right? So that concept we just extend in that particular filter. Which filter? This filter. Observe it very carefully. In this particular filter, this is one x of n added uh, and here feedback or recursive filter we can say z to the power minus z after d unit delay multiplied by alpha we are adding here. Here instead of directly addition if we put one filter that is suppose one low pass filter then whatever system will be formed that is nothing but this one. Observe it very carefully this is our input this is noise in this particular case but consider as general input for the time being x of n is going here our output is there. It is having delay z to the power minus l, that is l unit delay, then we are filtering. And from the filter response, you can clearly understand this is nothing but one low pass filter. And we are adding. This particular filter has a special property, what it says here. Curl plus strong string synthesis is a method that loops a short wave from through a filtered delay line to simulate the sound of string okay so if we put one noise small noise and after that a long zero observe each part of this particular system is very important why it is drawn like this that indicates that some noise is there and after that a long sequence of zero has to be present if we give input uh, this signal as uh, input for this particular system then in the output will like uh, plucking of a string okay the sound comes typically well known uh, string plucking sound that's what we can generate using this okay so first concept this why this zero sh should be added already concept discussed in my previous video i told you to have the repetition here we have to add how many repetitions we want according to that we have to add required amount of zeros like here for input 1 2 3 our original input 1 2 3 but we have to add zeros to have repetitions in the output periodicity in the output to achieve that we have to have zeros okay and one more important concept which i discussed earlier that the length of this particular part where our original sequence is there that is this particular noise part if you consider this particular part this length should be equal to the delay unit or this particular L. Okay, based on this, we can uh, go to directly go to our practical implementation. So I have taken the same figure that is x of n is coming as input, y of n, and then delay z to the power minus L. Then what we have seen here one low pass filter was present, but instead of low pass filter, I have taken one generalized instead of one generalized low pass filter, I have taken two point moving average low pass filter. Already I have discussed that moving average filter is nothing but a low pass filter and I have shown you for 8.5 point different cases. Similarly, 2 point moving average filter that is y of n equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1 by 2 like that if we write the uh, 
system can be uh, modeled like this particular block diagram right please simply understand they will now if you calculate y of n with respect to x of n how we will get see x of n is coming here and some some signal which is coming here has to be added with that what is this particular signal see y of n is delayed by l unit so y of n minus l we will get here okay here one more delay so y of n minus l minus 1 that is multiplied by 0 0.5 okay so our expression will be y of n minus l minus 1 by 2 and here y of n minus l is directly coming which is multiplied by 0 0.5 so this will be y of n minus l by 2 and now when these two signals will be added what we will get y of n minus l coming from here and y of n minus l minus 1 coming from here so when these two will be added y of n minus l plus of y of n minus l minus 1 by 2 due to this 0 0.5 factor all right so basically our this particular signal which we will get here as output will be x of n plus y of n minus l plus y of n minus l minus 1 by 2 that's what I have written here y of n equal to x of n plus y of n minus l plus y of n minus l minus 1 by 2. Simplify this you will get y of n is equal to x of n plus of y of n minus l by 2 plus y of n minus full bracket l plus 1 by 2. Now take z transformation y of n z transformation is y of z x of n z transformation is x of z y of n minus l z transformation will be y of z z to the power minus l half will be multiplied here and uh, y of n minus of l plus 1 z transformation will be y of z into z to the power minus of l plus 1 that's all now take all the y of z terms in the left hand side and keep the x uh, terms x of z terms in the right hand side and you can derive the transfer function as y of z by x of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus half z to the power minus l minus of half z to the power minus of whole l plus 1 okay so this is what about our transfer function now if we pass a noise with a huge amount of zeros padded at the end through this particular transfer function having the uh, l value equal to our original noise length then we should get a sound like plucking a string let's visualize that before that just simple uh, some five six lines codes so first one x equal to rand one comma hundred this is used to generate this particular noise part okay i am taking random number and random number is nothing but noise only then I have shown you that to get the periodic behavior, we require some zeros. Here in the system also, you can see the, that a long uh, padding of zeros are there. That's what I have done here. X equal to X, zeros 1, 5,000. Then after that, just simply define the transfer function. Numerator coefficient is 1, clearly visible, and denominator coefficient will be 1. Then Z to the power minus L is there. So in between that, uh, z to the power minus 1, z to the power minus 2, z to the power minus 3, all the coefficients will be 0, right? So, how many zeros we have to pad? I have told you that to get the periodicity, I have to pad the zeros as the particular length of our input sequence, okay? So, zeros 1, 100. Is it 100? No, it will be 99, sorry, because z to the power minus l coefficient is minus, uh, minus of that is minus of 0 0.5 so up to z to the power uh, before z to the power minus l we have to stop so 0 is 1 comma 99 it will be there like here i have told you don't get confusion like here i have shown you x is x having length 1 2 3 3 unit length then we have taken y of n is equal to y of n minus 3 plus x of n but if you observe the um, transfer function what we have done uh, y of z equal to y of z z to the power minus 3 plus x of z so basically if i write here let me write here in notepad to avoid confusion y of n equal to y of n minus 3 plus x of n it was our previous transfer function right so now if we take z transformation we will get y of z is equal to y of z equal to y of z into z to the power minus 3 plus x of z all right and then we have seen y of z by x of z equal to 
equal to 1 by 1 minus z to the power minus 3. Right? So 1 by 1 minus z to the power minus 3 means what? Numerator coefficient is 1 and denominator coefficient is numerator coefficient is 1 and denominator coefficient is 1 and then for z to the power minus 1, 1, 0, z to the power minus 2, 1, 0, z to the power minus 3, coefficient is minus 1. So see if the length is 3, we have to pair two zeros. Similarly, here same goes here for this particular equation also as I was discussing that it at z to the power minus l coefficient is present. So we have to pair l minus 1 zeros. So if the length is 100, zeros 1 comma 99 should be there. Sorry for this mistake. And then minus half coefficient for z to the power minus l and for z to the power minus of l plus 1, the coefficient is minus half. So minus 0 0.5. So this is what about our transfer function. Now simply filter the uh, x signal that is random noise paired with some zeros y equal to filter num comma n comma x then after filtering play that i have taken sampling frequency as 44100 sound y comma 44100 that's all so this is what about simple code here this will be 99 okay so same code i have written as clc clear all close all x equal to rand 1 comma 100 then we have paired zeros numerator coefficient denominator coefficient we have defined filtered that and then we are playing Okay, let me if I do evaluate selection up to this and then if I copy this and paste it here, just listen to this sound very carefully. This will sound like plucking a string. I hope you have heard. Again, I am playing. Listen this. So I hope you have understood that in this way plucking a string uh, sound can be generated using this particular filter. This is very important filter in musical signal processing. It is widely used. Okay, you can check this Wikipedia page for detailed explanation. I will post the link in the description box. Okay, this is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.